prove that the sum of all the angles of a triangle adds to 180. So let's draw a triangle. Say this is any arbitrary triangle. Say this is one side. I'm using a line tool. This is the other side and this is the third side. So there are three sides in a triangle. Now, so let us name this triangle ABC. So this is, uh, uh, this is the vertex. This is A. This is second vertex B. And this is the third vertex C. So let us name this angle. Say this angle as A, small lowercase a, and this lowercase b, and this lowercase c. We want to prove A plus B plus C is 180 degree. Okay. Now, before we prove this, let me uh, tell you, or let me, let's, I hope you know that alternate angles are congruent. So let me draw a uh, parallel line. So this is one, two parallel lines. So this is a pair of parallel lines. And so this is a transversal. Say, let us name this a one. Let us name this angle one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You've got eight angles and these two lines are parallel. So this is a notation of parallel and this is a transversal. So this is line L, this is line M, and this is T. Now you, you should be knowing the Z angles or the alternate angles are equal. When lines are parallel, you get two pairs of alternate angles. So this is one pair, angle three and angle five is one pair. So I can say angle three is equal to angle five because the alternate angles formed by a transversal on parallel lines. The second pair is angle four and angle six. Angle four is equal to angle six. I also call the Z angles. Okay, this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, I hope you can see a Z and the mirror Z. Okay, now we're going to use this to prove this. Uh, very, uh, uh, very useful result used in a lots of places. So what I've done is I have drawn a line which is parallel to BC. So I'm saying this line that is passing through A is parallel to BC. Okay. So if you treat this as a transversal now, so let me treat this as a transversal. Okay, so can you see this angle B is equal to, can you see a Z here? Let me go over this. So can you see a Z? Let me draw a Z. So this is the Z angle formed by parallel lines and a transversal. Here the transversal is line AB. So let me make this, oops, let me make this transversal. So say this is a transversal. And so if this is B, this will also be B. So this is B. Okay. In the same way, if you treat this, the if you treat this as a transversal, if we make this as a transversal, uh, this is a transversal now. If you treat this as a transversal, this is a other Z. Okay. okay. I hope you can see this, this mirror-like looking Z. Can you see a Z angle here? So this is the Z angle. So if this is C, I'm not color coding exactly. If this is C, this will also be C. Okay, now angles on a straight line adds to how much? So let me write a, a rule, angles, a full turn. So this is half turn. So angles, a full turn makes 360 degree. So I hope you know this rule, angles on a straight line, angles on a straight line adds to 360, adds to 360 degree. Okay, oh sorry, angles on a straight line adds to, not 360, sorry, 180. My brain was malfun malfunctioning. So because angles at a point adds to 360, angles on a straight line adds to 180. So 
So can you see A, B, C are angles on a straight line? So this implies using this rule in this figure I can say A plus B plus C is 180 degree. So and A, B, A, B and C are nothing but angles in the triangle here. So you can say the sum of all the three angles of any triangle adds to 180 degree.